See you next time. Oh, shit. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Billy here and I would like to dedicate my first ever post to my Hong Kong haul. Um, this late June, uh, I have a 24-7 tour guide which is my second sister. So uh, yeah, I got quite a lot of haul for myself, I think. Yeah, because my previous hauls from Hong Kong were all skincare products, like 98%. So this time it's like, I think, 20 or less I don't know yeah so here it goes um my most favorite stop would be Miniso yeah I think it has opened a new store in New Central but I'm not really sure because I saw it from some shared posts in Facebook so yeah and if you ask me why yellow it's not my favorite color but it is just so cute you see from a normal size of handbag it is just so small I don't think I can draw anything in there unless I'm bringing just my card IC, my credit card, and some folded coin or notes. Uh, and that's all. Yeah. So uh, this is like 20 H daily for the small ones. And I also bought a neck pillow which I will attach a picture here. It's really worthy for the neck pillows because I saw in Sunway Pyramid there's a store which sells artistic stuff and pens and bags and all that. Their neck pillow are like 30 plus or 40 plus like that yeah which is expensive and i think my quality is not bad for a 35 hkd neck pillow <coughs> then um, i also got sh short purses which is like this is mint blue and this is like royal blue with tassel um, it's not like my usual style but it would be good for some changes and what this is not that great is there's no coin compartment like this yeah although it's small but it fits big Hong Kong dollar notes so definitely Malaysia notes can fit in there yeah so basically it is just like card compartment and your notes then for this it's like same card and notes then there's the coin compartment which is quite small so yeah not like this which is very cute then I also got some socks which is like this is for the guys my boyfriend then I got more for myself because he is quite fussy and I don't like to buy for him some items where he won't really be wearing it later on so yeah that's fine then I behave a bit like an auntie by buying arm cover <laughs> yeah because usually my mom will ask me to buy that for her but now I'm buying it for myself so I feel very old the reason I'm buying it is that's UV and I'm getting darker because of driving. driving. Then, yeah. There's like 10% spandex in it. Then, for this, I also got a selfie stick. I also got this selfie stick, which is, to be really honest, I think it is not that worthy. Uh, there's two types there, like um, this is like a silicone rubber thing holder. Then there's another one which is like plasticky and you can easily click the button for capturing your selfie. Uh, I think that is easier as compared to this but this is like the last colour on the rack. So I'm just get it. Same as this. Then um, I got something for the kitchen which is like a medium sized multi-functional slicer. I think it is good because there's this compartment underneath for you to uh, store it for a longer period if you're not using it immediately. Then I also got this multifunctional saver for the boyfriend. Um, I think it is very convenient if you do not have any wine opener or anything like that, scissors or stuff like that. So I think any tourist should get it. Though it may be dangerous, but yeah, I don't use it for the danger, for anything, you know. Oh, I swept my bags up a lot. Okay, um, among the big, bigger bags, um, this is like the most expensive one. Though I'm not really a big fan of like super chili red or whatever you call it, but I'm into the shape, so yeah. Okay. A non conventional shape versus a conventional one, yeah. So I need to get both of that. Then I need a bag like this, although I hope it, is, it would be bigger. But yeah, there's like two colors I chose the pink one versus the grey and black one. It's a grey black or pink grey, a pink black. So I got this pink, like dusty pink. I'm not sure if you can see it, yeah. 
but uh, at, there's this front compartment which is like for carts of stuff, I don't know, like the tissue. Then there's also in the inner compartment there's like side zipper. Yeah. Here. Okay, here. That's all. Um and then for this I got two colors because they are so pretty. And another reason is that it's big enough to store my stuff. There's also the side compartment thing, zipper thing. Then they also have this sling bag if you want to use it as a sling bag. So yeah. Women never complain having too much bags, right? Get my bags. Okay, next would be skincare. Um, for an upcoming project, um, that's the reason why I buy that many Laneige trial kits. Basically, it consists of three items in there. This, the cotton pads and this other two Laneige products. Uh, which is Clear C Advanced Effector uh, okay. and also the Original Essence White Plus Renew. I got some Laneige, another Laneige trial kit basically for moisturizing effect. Um, yeah, so looks very cute, but I don't know, I'll have a mini review about it when I use them. Yeah, then I also got this cucumber gel. My baby sis was saying that it was nice. It is not sticky at all, so I am just gonna give it a try. I bought this other three masks. Uh, it's under the brand of Pure Mind. Um, they are essence masks, and basically there's um, more than three flavor, but uh, three different flavor. But I chose this three because the green tea and collagen was running out on the shelf. So uh, it's also for the project. So yeah. And this is like the last mask um, I bought. It's a by Bomb Super Power Baby Doll Mask. My sister was claiming that there was a lot of good reviews she saw. So uh, when I buy for her, I also buy for myself. Just so that we can have um, a review about it and see if our skin reacts differently or not. Yeah, these are just some random stuff I got from Bonjour. Um, basically, this is the eye mask sheet. Next is the underarm sweat sheet. Uh, I find it really awkward, especially when I wear a thin down shirt and my sweat goes through. So I must, must, must get one, even if I'm not using it anytime soon. But yeah, it kind of puts me off when it says that there will be sticky residue leaving behind. Um, but I will still try it. Yeah, and it has rose scent. This also has rose scent. Um, this is a deodorant and antiperspirant uh, based on ancient Chinese formula as written behind. Uh, basically, it eliminates BO and of your underarm or even feet and excessive sweating. So yeah, I don't really know what it is, but uh, they said within three seconds, uh, your BO will be gone. And yeah, since it has rose scent, and I also bought a another similar item like this in Malaysia Watson. Uh, it's basically like a cotton sheet where you just wipe your underarm with it after you have showered and dried. Uh, and it, that was supposed to last one week, but I don't know about this, but uh, yeah, we should make a comparison about it, I guess. Yeah, let's start with my tattoos. So basically, I bought like 7 pieces, like 2 large and 5 small. It cost me around 55 HKD, which I think is quite a bit. Look at this cute lovey dovey elephant thing. Yeah. Then, dandelions, where everyone looks at it as the meaning of freedom. Uh, then this cute hand drawn animation which I think it's super cute and um, there's this online boutique in Insta where I saw them selling quite for quite a pricey number and there's not that much on one piece but I'm not sure how that how I'm gonna cut it but yeah then yeah, these two are also very cute animation um, yeah, that's that so for 55 HKD for all this so I think it's a deal that you can't miss um, there's much more designs but my mom was like asking me not to spend so much on cats so whoops so yeah whoops okay then um, I've got this three piece from Sun Tising at the most I think the most top level um, at one of the corner stores where yeah you can't really ask for any bargain because my sister was saying that the top, the most upper floors are already giving you the best price. Therefore, you cannot really bargain much. 
Okay, and this pom-pom shorts, there's like different colors, but I go for this because it's easier to match, I guess. Then, uh, at Langham Place, I went to Monkey. Yeah, Monkey. Uh, then, H&M is beside it, but I did not go to only one outlet of H&M. There's one in Jin Sa Jui, then there's one inside Langham Place, then I went to the IKEA branch of H&M, uh, and also one more, but I think I forgot it, or maybe I didn't, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, this is like the... This is, there's like a lot of sales so I must buy clothes. This is like for 50 HKD. Basically, they are all like 50% um, discount or more. So yeah, then crop top in baby blue. Then off shoulders. Like Bohemian style. Kind of thing. And also another off shoulder. Which I love and I can pair it with my spaghetti dress for a change. Then uh, another boutique there, I got this, oops, this pants where you can tie a ribbon there. Yeah, of course, it's like a must have in your um, wardrobe, so I must get it because I do not have one in my wardrobe yet until now. Yeah, so then, um, okay, wait, let me bring you my, okay, wait, let me just show you first. Okay, uh, for this super cute socks, they cost like um, 140. 8400 Although it is still expensive, but I don't think we have that much of the cheap socks going on in Malaysia yet. Or I do not know what to find. Yeah, this is the main reason why we buy it. Let me bring you my little friend. And this uh, is a normal one that I bought anyway. Let me introduce you to my little friend. Okay. This is my family dog. I always hashtag them, family back on my Instagram. So yeah, Chapa. Yeah. Look at the face. And look at this face. Oh no, there's one more. Uh there's this super super pretty boots I got. Oh it's like the first or second floor, second floor I think of Sun Tsing, Argo Center. Um it's so tall and Oh uh, yeah, it's like my first ever boot, so I was styling it a lot. Yeah. So that's that. Um, um, okay, talking about Langham Place. Uh, yeah, we also got some mini freebies uh, from Albita. Uh, it's the rose floral water for hydration. I really like it, and I think when all my beauty skincare stuff runs out, I will try Malbita's um, range of skincare. Yep. Then I also got some really cute candy and bubblegum dispenser. And some goods. I don't know. I've only tried the center center chocolate but the others I haven't tried it yet so yeah I'll open it and try it when I try them. Oh I tried this also. Yeah, this and this. Yep. Okay. And I also got Haichu candy because uh I remember I really liked it um, when I tried them in Taiwan, uh, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Then, I need to rant about this AP, uh, what do you call that, Hot Point Jewelry Store. Basically, it's like um, when you walk in Aeon, you see Silver Dragon. Yeah, there are similar shops um, where they sell imitation or cheaper jewelry to the customer. Um, well, the first day when I were there, the person seems really nice and the service was great because she was giving us explanation and stuff like that when she knows that we are not buying on that day. Um, but so, with a positive attitude, I was planning to return uh, to the shop. Yeah, when I'm like, I've done or made up my mind whether I want to buy it. So, um, on the second day when we returned, the lady was pretty nice uh, serving my mom. Once I stepped in, she was, uh, what do you call it? The Chinese people, they were bian bian. Yeah, her face really changed. Then uh, she was like pretty irritated because I did not buy anything and I am still standing there and considering. Um, she was saying stuff like, uh, yeah, you take taxi, then your fare already, uh, Ruki, uh, which is like uh, irritating because she did not just like say it once, she said it multiple times and on the first day as well. But uh, I kind of kindly or slightly rude replied her saying that we actually bought and there's no fares in bulk, so I am not at any loss, yeah. 
So yeah, um, I think basically the services in Hong Kong is bad. Um, like some are bad. Even when we went to the market to buy veggie and stuff like that, um, they are pretty rude. If you compare it to Malaysian services, um, feel so. If you really want to buy, just buy it and go away. Don't think about it. If you want to think about it, think about it like for five seconds and just be. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay. The last remaining items here are like from random shop, like this may be from Watson or something like that, or some grocery store, and this is from Japan Home Center, which they found from electrical items all the way to gardening and all that. So, and this is like from those five ten dollar shop uh, in Hong Kong. You can see it along the streets. Yeah. Uh, actually, there's no reason as to why I buy it, but I remember this little logo. Yeah, the Wang Wang logo, which is like from our chop from my channel memory. So I really like pops and I know it may not be that great if I compare it to my chocolate day. So yeah, I just buy it because it was cheap. And um, these two slippers basically it's um it may look ugly but we got this too. The reason why we get it was because my sis have this at home and it was super light and comfy so we have to get it. It's not those 5 time ringgit slippers you get in Pasamalam, okay? It's uh, I think 20 plus or something or more than that slightly uh, RM in ringgit Malaysia. Um, it's quite expensive and you must buy it if you like or if you wear slippers at home. Yeah. And I got my size in M and because of my design, this design it doesn't have a bigger size. Therefore, we buy, I, I mean not we, I buy this other design. Oh, it's a big box or something. I don't know, but it's light as well in size L for my boyfriend. And if it doesn't fit, I'm gonna bring it back or something like that. Yeah. And I like purple. We like purple. So yeah. Next is no, no, not next. The final item I have here is some um, kind of a space wasting pocket tissue. Uh, basically, it's like my cousin brother wanted to buy it. Yeah, the wife wanted to buy it. But um, I think I should also buy it since. Um, it's quite space consuming. So anyway, this is a pocket tissue brand of Temple in Hong Kong and um, they have different smell of scents to it like peach, apple and orange and all that. But they also have bacterial protection and also icy mantle. My sis says if you have blue, you should use the icy mantle because your nose will feel better. Yeah. And I believe that, okay, I'm not a tissue pocket tissue expert, but I believe that no, there may not be any tissue with function or smell um, so in Malaysia so if you do have any comments on any product so yeah just comment down below and all the items that I bought I will list it down below so that you can comment or ask me to write any review about it yeah so thanks for watching guys see you next time Oh shit! Charlie! No, I'm going to record this. I'm going to record this.